Alright guys. So I'm gonna do a quick video on how to make one boiler slave and one boiler master so they can communicate with each other. So this is my master. We're going to go to configure identification access and name this one and two Modbus one and two. Name it one and one and one. On this boiler, same thing. Configure identification. We're gonna name it three and three. All right. Then on my master, we're going to go to. League lag configuration. We're gonna make sure it's equalized runtime and it says one. On this one, configure league lag master. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Yeah. Equalize runtime three, so it's reading it. We're good. Going back to our one, our master. We're gonna go to master slave. Enabled. Um, and the other one, my slave, is gonna be disabled. If I stand correct. Yes, disabled. Perfect. All right, and that's pretty much it. You might have to set a pass, have a password to get into changes some of these uh, specs. And communication wire has to be from the master to the slave, data plus, data minus, common. And it goes to the same spot here. And you call is on your 24 and on channel 2 league live so it's on idle right now league live save idle league live save idle so again quick 3 and 3 label them configure go down be like slave. Make sure it's reading it. Three equalize runtime. Configure ah, master. Master is disabled, and this one will be enabled. Let's go here. Make sure one and one. Enable. Master enabled. Let's go back. The slave equalize runtime plus one. Then you have to make sure all your spe specifications are met. What the temperature you want. If you have an outdoor sensor, if not, and stuff like that. And you should be good. They should communicate. The wires are correct. Again, you might have to call your factory to find out the password to get in and change the specifications.